we watched it, we found some old VHS tapes. I watched, I think it was 1992 or grand final with my kids. They were laughing. I go, what's this, you know, they were going, what's this game? Where are you? Have you actually done anything? Like, it was totally different back then. At Round Week, I had a lot of fantastic memories, you know, I think finally getting into the first grade, I had a couple of years where I, I didn't play in their Colts. To get into the first, the first team, it was a pretty highly uh, qualified team back then. I think there were some stages in that, in that Round Week team where I was the only player who hadn't played for Australia, you know, inside of the team. So I think playing with a lot of those guys was a highlight for me. I think that was a lot of my learning about coaching as well was more from the players I had, I think, than anything else around me. Uh, the, the Ellers, Simon Poitivan, uh, David Campisi, David Knox, the Burke brothers, that there was a iconic era. And then, I suppose my contemporaries as well that I played alongside were leaders, Phil Kearns. And they taught me a little bit about everything, every all parts of the game. And I really, really loved, even though I probably socially wasn't in that mix with them, I was different character I wouldn't have been classic rugby you know I came from rugby league school and had my own thing going on but uh, I'd always just lived up the road from that ground so I knew I'd watch the games I knew about the identity of the team and how they like to play running footy and that really appealed to me there's many great days there you know especially at the clubhouse and that's that's if you go right back to some of our earlier discussions about identity of club that's what you lived in down there. You lived in an identity and that immediately set the standards for you around how you played, how you trained, all those things and, and what you did when you didn't deliver. Game hasn't changed. That, like as in that part of the love for the game and what the game is, that, that, that impact. The business side of it, you've just got to compartmentalise that as a business. You know, you've got to, you got to have a clear divide of when you're running a business, when you're there and you're running the show, when you're running the business, and when you're the footy, when you're the leader, and when you're the manager, the footy coach. So when you're building relationships and doing that, and then when you're having to make those other decisions, whether they be around expenditure, roster planning, uh, whether they be about facilities or infrastructure, you've got to always make the assessments for the best interests of the club. There's sometimes you're flicking through and you're watching, there's a game on, a random game from somewhere around the world and you start watching it and you just get into it for the sake of the, the enjoyment, you know? And I think that uh, really, the only games you need to be watching with that rugby sort of head on is your teams and maybe teams that are gonna play your teams in the, in the near future or if you're specifically looking for trends in the game what's going to happen there, but otherwise you're just looking to go and enjoy the game, you know, you can't, that, that, that's the fun part of it, you know, even sometimes as a coach you get caught in that, you know, I remember uh, a game between Leinster when I coached in Ireland, Leinster and Munster, which is the, the big rivalry, and we were playing in Croke Park, a really historic place in Ireland, 80 odd thousand people, and I, I we had a, a John O. Gibbs, a former Chiefs and All Black, who was coaching with me, and uh, said to him, there was, it was like a national event, you know, half a stadium was red, half a stadium was blue. I said, mate, what are we actually doing here? Like, we're two Antipodeans in the middle of this whole, uh, you know, rugby, it's a part of their, their national psyche in that, that day. And it was just enjoyable to be there in the moment. You have to, of course, then refocus on what you need to do on game day at coaching. But, you know, you've got to enjoy the event always. And, you know, keep it in its real context.